Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this Don Diablo style drop. So the final result will sound like this. Switch. So now let's dive into the presets. So first of all, if you want all those presets and for the more other presets, make sure to check Hex Sounds for one. In the preset pack, you will find all the sounds you need to make that hexagon kind of style. The pack is a recreation of all the best hexagon style tracks that have been released lately. So if you want that, make sure to check the link down below. So now let's dive into presets. So first we're gonna make this bass line sounding like this. And then we're gonna dive into the beats. So we have a sub layer that's just a MOOC sample directed in the serum. And we have the main bass sounding like this. So we're gonna make that from scratch, selecting the preset. We're gonna go for the square wave. Lower, the, lower it down three octaves. And select FM from B. Then we're gonna shape Astro B. We're gonna go for the foul wave table. We're gonna go for the Edifon. Lower down two octaves. Switch the wave table just a little bit. And put on some quite heavy FM. Sounding like this. It's really, it's really distorting the sound, so we're gonna add a filter. Lower it down almost to the end and shape envelope to like this and route to the cutoff. I'm gonna shape envelope to to 700k and add some hold. As you can hear the filter really shaped the sound. Add some drive or fatness and shape envelope one. I guess just make it really plucky. So then we're gonna dive in effects. First of all, hyperdimension. We're only gonna use the dimension part. And then some more distortion. We're gonna add some down sample to really add those high frequencies to sounds. It's a bit too much, so we're gonna mix it into around here. And some chorus. Just like this. Then we're gonna compress the sound a bit. Add some gain. Leave the threshold like this. And put up the attack a little bit. And then to finish off some EQ. Give the low cut to make room for the sub bass we have. Gonna boost the highs a little bit and then add some reverb and delay just to open it up a little bit more. Give the low cut because we don't want any reverb in the lows. So, together with the sub, it's on like this. Then we have the low end of the, the track. So, now let's have the leads. So, the leads sound like this. So let's make it from scratch as well. First oscillator is a saw wave, 60 unisons. Detune down. Make really short envelope. With decay around 200. We're gonna add a little bit of holes around to the envelope. Just lower down the unisons a little bit. Now I'm gonna shape oscillator B. We're gonna go for the square to saw wave table. Just the square to saw wave table. Then right after one to the wave table position. Right halfway to give the to make the sound a bit more unique. And then right after for one to the fine tune. For both oscillators. This will this will trigger an array too fast. You can hear this will add some more grittiness to sound. Really make the sound more aggressive. And that's it for the oscillator. So now some effects. No hyper and dimension like this. Now we're gonna add some tube distortion. Quite a lot actually, right from here. Yes, some OTT.
lower down the nose for sound. And then we're gonna add some chorus for the high pass filter. Some delay reverb. And some chill, just low cut to make room for bass line. And some boosting of the highs. To create some more movement in the sounds. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add some more attack because it's still punch right now. Just something like this. I'm gonna push the rate table of Aster B a bit more. Because I think it's too, too square sounding. Just like this. And it's the lead sound, so all together, preset sound like this. And that's it for the video. So, if you like the video, please leave a like. See more and the subscribe button. And if you want the presets, make sure to check the link down below.